Hey there, everybody. Fet here, and welcome back to Fet Plays RimWorld, a beta 19. Which seems to be going, uh, it's fine. Is it the best round of RimWorld I've ever had? Probably not. Is it the worst? <laughs> Believe it or not, no. But it's going all right. We got fine meals. Yes, we do. We got fine meals. How about you? Sokol can walk, which means they're going to get home so much faster now. Although they have no food again. You guys run out of food so quickly. But you'll, you'll be back in half a day. You'll come back. You'll eat immediately. You'll be just fine. It looks like Wispy ate the last of the food. Well, or either that or he's the closest to starving. One of those. Anyway. Once they get over this mountain, it's a straight shot to home. You got this. Nothing. Even, nothing. Don't even get it twisted. We got nothing to worry about. I don't know how you're not finding any agave fruit, by the way, but okay. I mean, it's just, it says 15 per day. I don't know exactly how that works. Average amount of food per day you will forage. And yet we found none. Okay. I mean, it's whatever. We're going to be home. We're just freaking 13 o'clock. 14 o'clock. We're going to be home by 15 o'clock, and they're going to eat so much food. Technically, we can get a lot more food here. From foraging for berries, but we don't need to do that. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're home before 6 p.m. Beautiful. Go get some food. Silvermane already still in a funk, but, uh, yeah. Wispy was really close to starving. He's ravenously hungry. It's okay. You don't have to eat raw food now. Now you got some good food. Look at that stuff. Beautiful work, boys and girls. And with that, we have a new colonist. Sokol has joined the team. He has a place to stay. He's healing up right now. He's eating raw rice. Well, he is an ascetic. He doesn't care. Dude has zero care. Do art, please. Do hauling and cleaning. And uh, you have other things that you like to do. I mean, you like shooting, for example. I would like to give you a gun. I don't have one to give you right this moment. But you can... I don't really want you help with construction because your skill's so low. But there are... There are... Quote-unquote unimportant things you can help with. So, yeah, you can do that. Hunting, yes, at a two. Definitely do art first, though. We could use some art around here. Also, we're going to need to make one more art, because now we have ten people. And we have more chicks as well, I see. So, let's go ahead and pare down our chick situation here. Let's get rid of the hens. Let's get rid of all the adults now. Well, no. Let's take out... Let's take out all the little... Little dudes here. And then the little ladies can stay for now. But hey, we dropped off that iguana. Look at that, they're not they're still fresh. He brought some uh brought some wild game. It's pretty great. I do want this building to still be closed, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that wall, because yeah, right now it's technically outdoors. We should fix, yes. We got corn. Yes, we do. We got corn. How about you? I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I want some more of it. feel like we are starting to look a little bit more successful here. I think we need to make an, a dedicated research room and probably make this all part of the dining room experience. Maybe even just move this up here. Make this all... Ah, this is granite. I don't... Do we have any granite? We definitely have slate. We have limestone. We have sandstone. I don't think we have any extra granite lying around that I can see. So we'll probably want to redo that whole room. And use like marble or something instead. Yeah, it's slate as well. Yeah, there's no... I was going to call it wild granite, but what the hell, why not? There's no wild granite around. So let's start by redoing this room. 
because we should be able to tear all of this down with no repercussions. You know, we'll replace that as well. We're, we're going to do a marble room. Because I can. So call helping with a deconstruction. That's a perfect way to train your construction skill, and I love it so much. Doc Savage has bogarted the, uh, the sculpting table anyway, so who cares? My dudes have done it. Alright. And I said I was gonna go ahead and work some magic down here. Actually, if I just do that... Yeah, I can just go across here and reinforce. That's good. That'll work. Good job on the deconstruction dance, my foot, my dudes. Alright! This is how a research station should look, right? Actually amazing. Slap me up with that marble, boys. Also, congratulations. Whoever wants this bed, you have a marble... You now have a marble wall. Alright, and then we'll replace this whole thing with marble as well. That's a multi-day process, so don't get it twisted. Okay, good. At least none of these uh, are garbage. Got a dry thunderstorm, which is not my favorite kind. A trunt's attacking immediately. Ooh, they got numbers. Yes, they do. They got uh, eight people, and they have a freaking heavy SMG. It's normal, which is a little terrifying. A good revolver, normal machine pistol, and a couple of auto pistols. They are not playing around today. All right, everyone needs to wake up. Except Sokol. This is a pretty rough raid. Some of them might actually end up going against our turret, which I think would be ideal. Now, what would I love? I would absolutely love and adore a chance to get... Oh, Parish and Burns got on the exact right area here. Look at that formation. Look at that formation. It's beautiful. What would I want? Obviously, I would want the freaking big gun. The heavy SMG from Marja, the scientist. Luckily, she sucks at her with her weapon. All right. Ironheart's got the range. Some of them are definitely going to be facing our turret first. Now, will they be able to defeat the turret? That's a that's a good question. The weapon I really want is not is is ours. Holy crap, we got it! Burns, how you doing? Shot on your arm, but you're gonna be fine. Missy is getting us from the back here. Let's go ahead and run up there and take her out. Low psychic drone is not a big problem. In fact, it's a low problem. You might say. Yeah, there goes that uh, turret. <laughs> Good job, Missy. Smart one. Okay. Parrish, let's get you over here as well. Rest of us, we're going to form up over here where the fight's coming. Ironheart. 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 I'm going to want you kind of in the back. Around the corner there. Rosso's Vulcan is down, as is tradition. Alright. There we go. Now we got some fights going. Wispy's pretty hurt. Wispy, run. Oh, jeez. Looks like he doesn't need to run now. Smoke pop belt got tripped. That's enough, that was enough to scare him away. Okay, good job, guys. Keep shooting. There's no point in stopping yet. We can't replace that turret, which is unfortunate. But what we need to worry about now is getting Wispy inside. Wispy, rescue him. Uh, Silvermane, you rescue Rolstol's Vulcan. Miss Mask, you rescue... You capture Terry. Doc Savage, you haul the shotgun in. Uh, Burns. Good job, guys. 
Burns, you haul in this shotgun. Parrish, you haul in this heavy SMG. Once all that's happened, we'll survey the damage. This auto pistol needs to be hauled away, too. We're not... I'm not even worried about the machine pistol now. We got a big upgrade on that. Wispy's gonna be fine. He's already getting healed up by... by, uh, Dark Shadow. He, I mean, he definitely needs treatment, but he's gonna be fine. Uh, wow, that was a big shot. You lost a kidney! Okay, um... Shoot. Dark Shadow's our best doctor here for this. At least he's not bleeding out anytime soon. Sokol's gonna be okay. Doc Savage, you need to rest. You're gonna go rest here soon. Okay. Good. He's patched up. Go patch up uh, Rosso's Vulcan. I know you want to work on Terry next, but honestly, if Terry dies... Cannibal, very neurotic, tough. I don't want very neurotic. The others I could live with. That one I don't care for. 42%, a little low. I am worried about his... Uh, I am worried about his low skill. Or his low uh, filtration now that he's lost a kidney, I should say. Oh my god, that's gonna be so close. Oh, you are the luckiest bastard, Terry. And you do not deserve it, by the way, but Wispy's gonna take care of Doc Savage. And Burns is should be healed up with no problem, too. So Dark Shadow, who's been running around healing everyone else, nobody's taking care of him. It's alright, he should be fine. I had to move and adjust myself here. Probably shouldn't be using good quality medicine for these small injuries, but, uh, whatever. It's too late to complain. All right, this thing is indoors again. Excellent. Oh, burns, burns, burns. Wandering around in sadness. Because he's ravenously hungry? Oh, yeah, good job, man. That's going to get you some food. All right. Looks like everyone from those raids have been dealt with. And we got some decent weaponry here. A pump shotgun. Not bad. Very good close combat accuracy and decent damage as well. We also got this uh, heavy SMG, which I'm excited about. Shoots three shots. Decent damage. I'm thinking... I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give Rostos Vulcan, like... A shotgun. But I do want to give someone that SMG. Miss Mask, you're still rocking this. And you're like, you have good shooting. Yeah. I'm going to upgrade you to that. Uh, so, Cole, you're going to grab the other shotgun. Good stuff. We got a lot of stuff to do food-wise, but it's okay. We need to heal. That's going to take time. A lot of people are in a bit of a bad mood thanks to that. what's happened. Oh, okay. That's Terry. Oh. I'm going to be straight up. If Rostos Vulcan gets a... God dang it. If a Rostos Vulcan gets an infection, he's probably dead. Oh. Okay, that chick has food poisoning now. Well, that happened. Yeah, everyone's in kind of a... Well, all the guys at least are in a bad mood. <laughs> the psychic drone is not helping. Wispy fell down? Food poisoning. Ah. And we wanna, and we wanna be nice and pick him up. Parish, you're nah. Let's not worry about it. I was thinking of carrying Burns away and helping him, but he'll get over this soon, and he'll go eat a meal, and we'll be fine. So the worst thing that happened there was definitely the loss of this turret, which stinks because we need to. That means we're gonna need to divide our attention. So I'm thinking we're getting machining done right now. Well, that will eventually lead to gunsmithing and blowback operation, which will let us go to gun turrets. So I think that's the direction we need to head. The drone's over, so that should help our moods immensely.
All right, we got a lot of blood here again. Uh, Parrish decided to throw a party, probably to celebrate, uh, and now he's going to have to fight. Ooh, you got bit in the head. That sucks. There you go. And tear this thing down. Go get healed up, please. Dark Shadow, if you could, uh... Oh, thank you. He did that over attending the party, which was fantastic. Thank you very much. He's going to be fine. So call at a major break risk. Serious pain, hungry. Well, he took care of the hungriness, so... He'll be fine. It'll just take him a while. Yeah, that infection. He's doing fine. Terry's going to be fine. For now, let's just reduce his resistance. I don't know if we're going to release him or what we're going to do. I mean, I'm not a fan of very neurotic. Because that means a bigger chance of breaks. And we've had some pretty bad luck with those. Cannibal's not that bad. Tough, not that bad. He likes shooting. He would not be a terrible colonist. Let's put it that way. And we do have room for one more. Sokol, where are you sleeping, my dude? Did you not take a bed? Flamingo Pezza. Might have some stuff to trade. Are you just sleeping out on the ground? I have to find out where he's sleeping at night. I just can't. I couldn't find it. Anyway. Oh, you know what? He has been sleeping in here. It's probably a big thing. That would make sense. Anyway. Yeah, it's gotten extreme, but he's going to survive it. So that auto pistol bullet is what uh, gave him that infection. But... He is gonna be... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Another raid already? The Gauntlet Men, you bastards. Six people. They have a poor bolt-action rifle. Uh, it looks like two EMP grenades? No, one. Okay, EMP grenades, which is useless. Molotov cocktails and three people with machine pistols? That's a lot of machine pistols, I feel like. And I said they were attacking immediately, which means you need to basically wake everyone up. Uh, Wispy, how bad are your injuries? Still pretty darn rough. Give it, get everyone inside. Grab everyone except for Wispy and Sokol. We don't have a defensive structure up here yet, which is fine. They probably won't be going up there anyway. Well, they won't be attacking from there. Okay. I want... Miss Mask here. I want Ironheart down here. I want Silvermane here. I want Burns here. Parrish, you've been injured a little bit, so I kind of want you to maybe hold off. Dark Shadow, you get behind. I want the shotgun up front. This should work. In fact, let's get Ironheart over here. Give Ironheart a different angle of attack. Alright. Everyone who can, go after him. It's a Parish. Get him before he throws it. Okay, we got him. Good job. Burns, get out of the line of fire. Excellent job. Beautiful. Only one injury. And it's not even a big one. And we got another good machine pistol out of it. So does anyone get a weapon upgrade today? I mean, you got a normal bolt action rifle. Great hunting weapon. So I don't know if I want to trade it out. Dark Shadow, I think I'm going to upgrade your weapon. When you're done with that, go ahead and grab Ellis. Who got wrecked by that SMG. Undergrounder, Cannibal, Night Owl. Love all of them. 
loves mining. I could use him. If we save him, I'll use him. Is this a normal quality machine pistol? Uh, you know, Ironheart, while you're out here. Oh, yeah, I also had a pull-out area. Probably should fix that. Thank you, team. All right, Parrish found a smoke leaf joint. Like, yeah, I want that. No more pain. Still low on medicine, lower than we could be. Wispy's missing a ranged weapon. Uh, let's see. Wispy also just got up, so I tell you what, how about grabbing this auto pistol? Cool. His shooting's really good, too, so I could give him a better weapon. Yeah, let's let's upgrade you to the machine pistol. Alright. Wonderful stuff. Got a corpse out here. We don't need it. So let's get rid of all of them. There we go. Thank you, Burns. All right. Excellent stuff so far. Uh, the EMP grenades, I guess we should save those as well. Uh, Miss Mask, what are you doing? Going for a walk? I'll tell you what, when you're when, done with your walk, go ahead and haul these in. I'm not as concerned about the Molotovs, but EMP grenades could be extremely useful, given the right circumstances. We have more veggies than we have meats right now, which is great. Considering we have 84 meals, that is fantastic. We seem to be doing all right, keeping all of these mouths fed as well. Go ahead and talk to these guys. Oh, that is much higher recruitment difficulty from Ellis. We'll see how that ends up, of course, in the long term. Okay, Sokol is actually healed now, so tonight he should actually sleep somewhere that makes sense. Good lord, this is a lot of animals. We could definitely do more hunting if we wanted to. Minor Brick Risk Silvermane, yeah, he's... He seems to be the one that wavers the most. I mean, his environment is hideous, that's true. Let's see, we got quite a few people who are good at research. Let's go ahead and move Wispy up to number one on research. Because he's the best at it that we got right now. Because eventually I'm going to have a room up here that has two research benches in it. That's the plan. And later, you know, turn to a more advanced one. But yeah, that's what I want. I'll make a slate research room. I don't know, like right here. There we go. It'll have a door right there. And then we'll have one research bench here, one on the other end. It'll have a torch lamp in there. Probably. Probably just two, like that. Peace talks. A trunt wants to talk to us again. That's way out there, though, dude. 1.4 days, huh? I don't know about that. It's already fall. I have to worry about protecting my ass, you know? There's a lot of vomit. <laughs> Notice. Okay, Sokol has claimed this bedroom. Good. So we got one more that's available. Terry or Ellis could end up having it. Okay, now we can build machining tables, craft guns, grenades, flak armor, etc. And disassemble mechanoids, which we haven't fought yet. But I know they're dangerous. Let's go to gunsmithing next. So that unlocks ye old machining table. We need five components for that. So I guess we're gonna need to get traders. Either that or get lucky and find some. I could mine through some of this stuff to find it. Or to hope that there's some, I should say, out there. But we'll see. I did not expect this to get done today. I'm going to be straight up with you. So, don't get me wrong. 
thrilled that it is. I literally did not expect it to actually get done, though. So, uh, yeah. Let's build a new one here. Maybe it won't be poor. We'll just go ahead and deconstruct this one. Boom! Double the research, double the fun. Tear down this wall. We'll replace that with uh, marble. Yeah, there you go. There's a new research room. Holy crap. How are we doing on these? Still haven't built any. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I feel like someone needs to spend a day butchering. But maybe not. Maybe having the animals, you know, in corpse form is the superior move for now. There we go. Get all that rebuilt. Using marble. How much marble do we currently have? 180 something? 180 exactly? Yeah, we can make this work. There we go. Get all that replaced. Probably put some... Oh, actually. I was going to have these connected. Yeah. And we'll keep the uh, granite floors. And this will be like a new... Uh, a new table. We'll see. There are other tables of other sizes I could build. I could build a couple of 1x2s instead. Yeah, we literally don't need a giant table up right there. I could do this and build some... Build some chairs around it. Yeah, I am not entirely sure how I want to do this yet. All I, I, want, all I know for sure, excuse me, is that I do want to change it up. Did we ever harvest any cloth? I don't think we did. Which is unfortunate. It's already 7 degrees out, so... Plants aren't dying yet, but they're going to die soon. Which means we're going to have to do some harvesting soon. Alright, this looks normal. Why are you still using the door? <laughs> God, they were on that so fast. I could barely tell what was happening. Beautiful. Deconstruct this. Let's put down a... Uh, let's put down a lamp in here. Regular lamp, not a sun lamp. Right here should cover the entire room. I suppose I could put a poker table up here instead. Actually, that would work fine. Too bad I need cloth for it. And nothing else will work. But yeah, that, that's probably going to be my plan. It's going to be a nice little uh, room once we do that. You going to be plugged in anytime soon? You, uh... We got a problem? We do got a problem. That's our problem. Boom. Problem solved. Okay. There we go. What do we got on the grid right now? Eh, about 3,200. In positive power. So, you know, losing that turret gives us, like, two and a half lamps. Actually, no, let's not take down this one. Because we're probably going to want the fire in here to keep this fight, that place warm. But what I am going to want is a heater over here. Yeah, I could try to have all these done with just one heater. But I'm probably just going to have a heater over here for those for these rooms. Yeah. Probably just gonna do that instead. We need a component. We have one component. Thank God. <laughs> now if anything breaks down, we're screwed, but we have one component. Okay, what's this keep us at? 10? Yeah, we'll try to stay around 10. If it's better than that, more power to us, but... You know... Try to stay alive. 
when you can't afford to thrive, at least. Anyway, we got work getting done. It looks like it's getting done at a decent pace right now. Got a chicken sleeping on a stool in front of a fueled smithy. It's pretty great. Good times being had by all. Tell you what, Miss Mask, when you get a chance, how about you make us another longsword? Only because you've been making them very, very well recently. I mean, she might... This will be the one that she goofs up, I'm sure, but, you know. Keep going while we can get them. Okay, there's some, uh... There's some overhead mountain there that I don't want to dig out. Because I don't want bugs, if I can help it. Let's try to dig around that. Yeah, that might help. Help keep them at bay. Alright. I wish I could, like, take a look at other factions. Now, I guess I could, like, send a single person there to see how many people were in their base. Things like that. Please drop components. Mega Sloth Wool. I mean, that's not exactly components, but thank you. <laughs> thank you nonetheless. All right, I will take the uh, torch lamp out of here, though, and replace it with, with a regular standing lamp. In fact, I'll put two. These bedrooms could probably use standing lamps as well. So... There we go. That way nobody has to sleep in the dark unless they want to. And that does, of course, wear on our grid a little bit. But right now our grid is at... I don't think it's doing too bad on power. We got two good auto pistols. Nice. I like it. Got a lot of chicks running around again. Let's... Let's just leave them alone for now. We got 700 hay. A lot of it probably got stuck in here. A lot of the corn did. Yeah, a lot of the hay is stuck over here. Which is fine. Because this spot will freeze and we're okay with it freezing. This should be kept warm thanks to the two fires in here. Should probably get a walkway to that before I forget. There we go. And that'll be great, too. That said, I still think things are going pretty well. And that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Rim World Beta 19. We're getting ready to head back into the non-growing season. So winter is coming. But I think we might be prepared this time. Get ready to find out next time here on That Plays Rim World Beta 19. Thank you very much for watching. You should give a like. And if you want, you can you know, watch more of it by subscribing or going back and watching other playlists and things like that. Either way, hope you have a good time with whatever you're planning on doing after this, and I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Yeah, you'll be fine, Burns.